Um, hi, and I guess uh, welcome back. Uh, and uh, so in this video, I guess I'm going to answer uh, this question. Did you have a moment when you realized that you had deeply learned something on Khan Academy? And, uh, you know, my, my answer for this is clearly yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, and I feel that, you know, Khan Academy has helped me, you know, uh, deeply learn, uh, you know, many different concepts. Um, but, uh, you know, in terms of, you know, if I can go exactly by the wording of this question, you know, a moment when I realized that I had deeply learned something, I would say that the, uh, the clear outlier for me was the experience I had watching, and it's not just, you know, I didn't have to, I didn't watch this once, it was kind of a series of videos I had to watch, you know, quite a few times before I start, even started to, like, begin to understand what was going on, but it was the videos on Euler's formula, Euler's formula, and Euler's identity, identity, um, and, uh, you know, and I know that this answer is kind of a cop out. It's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a very, you know, like it's an unbelievably interesting uh, result that you get out of Euler's identity. It's, you know, it's a, it's really incredible and strange and, you know, kind of mystical. And, uh, you know, so it really is one of those things that that is worth, I think, thinking about for a while. But um, I think that when I realized that I had deeply learned something on Khan Academy was, you know, kind of going through this very long, uh, seemingly messy, drawn out process of, of essentially proving this, of proving Euler's formula and or Euler's identity. And I guess uh, realizing that, you know, watching the videos and taking notes and kind of taking my time to understand what was going on in those videos, you know, was a time that I, I guess I, I realized that I was doing something that, that kind of was hard, that it was, you know, it was very, you know, very difficult to, uh, to understand. Um, and I think that that's like one of the things that is really important about, uh, you know, really, uh, education in general, um, and, uh, and in particularly math and, you know, in particular math and science education is that most of the stuff that you, you know, you learn about, it, it is presented to you as being this completely obvious thing that it's like, oh, clearly, you know, Euler, like in, you know, in circuits too, we use Euler's formula all the time. We use Euler's formula, you know, 10 times, uh, 10 times in a, in a problem in order to, you know, in order to, to finish a, finish a, you know, a simple circuits problem. And it, it's always presented as, oh, well, clearly this is, you know, this is obvious. Like, clearly it's written in this textbook and you can just use it and you don't have to think about it anymore. And, you know, I think it's important to, you know, be able to keep, uh, keep some of the mysticism and some of the wonder about Euler's formula and Euler's identity at an arm's length such that you are able to, you know, use it quickly and trust it. And, uh, um, but at the same time, I, I think it's very important to understand that, you know, this is not obvious, not obvious or easy or easy. And really, and this is like, uh, one of the things that I, you know, I know it was touched on. I, I know that the videos for this, uh, have changed, I think, since, since I, I, I watched the Euler's formula and Euler's identity videos, I watched like the, the original Euler's formula and Euler's identity videos. And I think that, you know, I remember one of the things that was in the video was that not only is it not obvious, not only is it not easy, but it's also kind of not understandable, understandable. You know, where even, you know, I, I think that one of the things that Sal said in that video was that, um, you know, no person, you know, people can prove this. People can, you know, prove that e to the i pi plus one equals zero. People can prove that. Uh, people can, uh, use it to solve very complicated, uh, problems. 
or if you're into circuits two class, even some not that complicated problems. But uh, you know, you can you can use Euler's formula to uh, to do some pretty incredible things. But you really can't understand it. I mean, it's kind of too strange to understand. And I think that it, uh, you know, it's it's important to keep some of that wonder in, you know, in your career, I guess, in your, in, you know, in your own uh, learning. And I think that that was the point where I, I realized that I had learned something deeply on Khan Academy was more that I, I realized how something I was using couldn't really be understood, I guess. I, I don't know if that's kind of a cop-out of an answer, but I guess that's, that's, my, that's my answer. And that, that was really kind of, I guess, uh, thrilling. And it's something that, you know, frankly, like, I, you know, I've been through uh, college, and, you know, as I said, in circuits too, we use Euler's formula all the time. You uh, learn it to get through a, a, a differential equations class. You learn it in, a, I, I believe I learned it in Calculus 2. Um, we kind of went over it in Calculus 2. And, uh, I, you know, I, I think that the way it's presented on the Khan Academy really preserves all of the wonder uh, and, uh, and the strangeness, strange, strangeness of, uh, of it. Uh, so anyway, I, uh, anyway, that's my answer. Thanks for watching.